we are about to have Abdullah Mason on the show, uh, sign the top rank. Sign the J Prince. And is on the undercard of? Shakur Stevenson versus Oscar Valdez. Which is? This Saturday night at the MGM Grand Garden Arena here in Las Vegas, Nevada, broadcasted on ESPN. It will not cost you $80. Because it is free TV. Shout out to Bob Arum and ESPN. Shout out. Let's go. So for those of you who may not know, Abdullah Mason was signed to Jay Prince in top rank at the age of 17. Mm. Uh, one of five brothers coming out of the Cleveland area. Something that they continue to do, and by they, I mean obviously top rank, they continue to sign young. I, I remember uh, Gabriel Flores was the first and youngest. Now it was Xander Zayez and... Now we have uh, Abdullah Mason walking into the studio. Abdullah, how are you doing? Thank you so much for joining us bright and early. Uh, we definitely appreciate you. Um, yeah, if you could just put your headphones on and uh, we'll get this thing started. For those, once again, just joining us, this is Abdullah Mason, newly signed to Top Rank and James Prince. So, I mean, let's start there, man. How, how'd that all come together, man? How'd you end up with James Prince? Um. So, so my last tournament that I had for, um, it was, it was last, it was the last year around this time. Can you get closer April. to the mic just a bit? Thank you. Yeah. So it was, it was around April, you know, last year and, and I ended the tournament off, you know, three, three stoppages and five unanimous decisions. But, you know, he was there for the first fight, you know, he was, you know, looking around, you know, uh, at the different fighters and stuff. When you and say he, J, J, yeah, J, yeah, J, oh, J, yeah, J, yeah, he was there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So when the first tournament first started out, you know, I didn't know he was there, but you know, he, he, uh, you know, I had a good performance for the first fight. You know, I stopped, a, I stopped a guy in a, uh, in the second or third round, and he had uh, DM me, you know, reached out, you know, say good fight or whatever, blah blah blah. But you know, he was just, you know. Hold on, uh, hold on. Let's not gloss over that, man. How how did you feel when you got that DM? You seen that 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 check mark, and it was James Prince. Did you run call your dad? Did you tell your brothers, or was it like not like oh, that's nothing? I mean, I felt good. You know, I was doing my job, so it's, it was nothing that it was nothing that uh, that I didn't. Ex well, I'm, I'm not gonna say I expected it, but you know, we we work for it. You know, me and my brothers, we working hard. We uh we got talent, but we we in here, you know, doing our thing. So. So, you know, it, that's what comes with it when you actually, you know, focus mm -hmm. in a boxing. So sooner or later, I knew that, you know, I was going to get, you know, recognition and stuff like that. So he slides in your DM, acknowledges your performance. You guys get to talk. And then, then how long were you guys in talks for before something official came about? Um, well, we we we, uh, we went out to see him at a, a little while after the, after the tournament. So I mean, we out to out Houston. To, yeah, we went out to see him. You know, we was we spent some time out there with him. You know, uh, got to know him a little bit, and uh, after that, you know, I just I signed to him. Uh, I'm not sure which month, but I had my fight in November. Okay, made yeah, so the, that was the first fight in November. Made, I signed made, the top rank. Made the professional yeah. debut, obviously November. You're oh, on yeah. the card this weekend, right? Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. yeah. Because I, I didn't see it on box yeah. rec. I was like, no, I'm pretty sure he's on the card oh, this yeah, weekend. Yeah. yeah. Um, going into your second professional fight, made your pro debut end of last year. You know, what's the feeling like? You got the jitters out the way right of the pro debut. You got that pressure, um, you know, off of your shoulders. What's the feeling like and what's camp been like going now into your second time? You already did it the first time. You know, uh, what's that like this go around? I mean, it's, 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 I feel good. It's, I feel comfortable right now. You know, you know, I know how, it, I know how it feels to be in there, you know, uh, coming off the first fight. And I wasn't able to fight, you know, back. I wanted to fight back to back. But since I was 17, when I had my first pro fight, that was here in Vegas. I'm only able to fight in like three different states, so, so um, there wasn't that many fights going on in the states that I could fight. So I had to, you know, I had to lay off for a little while. And now that I'm 18, uh, I'm back, and and I've been feeling comfortable, you know, this training camp. I started out in Cleveland, you know, I, with all my brothers. You know, for everybody that's watching, I don't know, I have I have five brothers. You know, it's it's uh, six of us in all five of us box. You know, the oldest, Amir, he's professional as well. Uh, the other two get I think that's the one <laughs> that I got to call his fight in Atlanta, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah that's that's where I, got, yeah, that's I met yeah. you guys, yeah. Yeah, yeah so. Um, How so old is he? He's 24, 25. Is yeah, he, 25. does he have more than five wins now? I believe he was 5-0 and oh at that time, right? No, he was 2-0. Oh. oh, wow. Yeah, yeah he's 2-0. Oh. Yeah, so he's 2-0 oh right now. He's getting ready for his next professional fight uh, coming up soon. So uh, I'm not sure about the date yet, but coming up soon. What's the, yeah. what's the names of the rest of the brothers? Uh, Amir Mason, 
He's 25. Aldo Mason, uh, he like he's 23. Abdurrahman Mason, he's uh, 19. And there's me, Abdullah Mason. I'm seven. I'm 18. I just turned 18. And the youngest is uh, Ibrahim Mason. And what are the three states that you mentioned you could fight in under the age of 18 uh, as, pro- as a professional was, boxer? I believe it was Nevada, Texas, and, and New Jersey. Oh, wow. Shout out I to think, Jersey. I think, yeah, I think Jersey. Letting yeah. it happen. <laughs> oh, yeah, for sure, yeah. But it's still not something that we see very often. Um, obviously, he had a lot of success in that tournament, which is why Jay reached out. But what was the... So you missed the Olympic cutoff, huh, because of your age? Yeah, because of my age. Because yeah. of your age. So the, age, that yeah. was the reason. You That's know, that Devin yeah, Haney yeah, story. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, like, fuck, wait, yeah. and we going, we oh, going yeah, pro. Yeah. I mean, I felt I was ready. You know, I, if I wanted to wait, I would have waited. And but I just felt I was ready. You know, it was nothing. It was nothing too much that I that I uh, that I dreamed of. You know, as far as the Olympics. But you know, I I felt like I was ready to turn pro. So you know, that's what we lean towards. What's that feeling like? I mean, you're gonna be on. I feel like the most anticipated fight so far this year in Shakur Stevenson and Oscar Valdez unification fight, big fight, MGM Grand, right? Uh, so many big fights have took place there. What's that mean to you to be able to get on such a big card so early on in your career? It feels good, you know. I'm, I'm thankful. I'm thankful to be on this card. You know, I'm thankful to be able to, you know, to train with all my brothers, to be focused, to be around, you know, some of the best. Uh, my, for uh, Shakur, you know, for his last fight, I was his main sparring partner for uh, Jamel Heron. So I helped him get ready for that fight, you know. And for this fight, you know, I just seen him getting ready and stuff. He looking pretty sharp, you know. I'm, I'm, but didn't y'all spar like last week? No, me and Shakur, no, we didn't spar. Oh. Yeah, not for this camp. For his last camp, you know, I was I was sparring him, but not, not for this camp. Yeah. But but what was the question again? Just that feeling to be able to fight in, in the MGM Grand, you know, such a big stage, oh, yeah, yeah, the yeah. fight itself, and, you know, so early on in your career. I, it, it feels good, but I can't, I can't let it, I can't get ahead of myself, you know. I, I'm still early. It's still my second fight. You know, I've only been there one time. I'm still getting used to it. I still got to get used to the ring and all of that. So, you know, everything, everything, everything comes with the territory, you know, just staying focused. Be, gotta stay on my A game. It, it feels good, but you know, you just gotta stay focused. Now, uh, you know, speaking right. of staying focused, I know, I know the the person responsible. Uh, I feel like for keeping all you guys focused is your father, and you can't go without acknowledging him, right? Because he uh, he's the absolutely. man behind the plan and the one that uh, you guys put in the work. But he's the one that has brought you guys this far. You know, I just want you to speak on your father because obviously being head trainer, right? Um, oh yeah. Just the road that your father has played, not just in your life, but your brother's life, and this, you know, the boxing uh, success you guys have had. I mean, he's my father. He always, you know, he guides us towards the right direction. You know, he makes sure we stick together, make sure we, you know, we stay. We, we, you know, whenever I say focus, you know, that's that's who the one, that's the one who make, who's who's there, always there, making sure we on our A game, making sure we sticking together. You know. <clears throat> Um, staying, staying ready, staying in the gym, you know, having our mindset straight. So, of course, you know, all the props goes to my father, you know, and the creator. I thank the creator, you know, put, putting us in a position to be able to, you know, do what we do. Now, yeah. um, we know we know you're cutting weight, but we got you a water just in case you I do want a little thank sip. Um, a lot of positive things, you know, when, when you got signed to Jay, I got to talk to Jay a little bit and, you know, nothing but great things to say about you. What's it mean to you, obviously, being under the tutelage of your father, being under a Hall of Fame promoter as Jay Prin- uh, as Bob Arum, and then being with somebody as big as Jay Prince, who right now has a lot of big names, you know, picking yourself up uh, very hot out of the amateurs, Jared Anderson, Shakur Stevenson. You know, you're surrounded by, by greatness, truly. Um, what have you been able to pick up from all of that? Um, you know, just... Just uh, good guidance, you know. I'm able to, I'm able to, you know, see different things and make sure I, I'm, I'm staying, you know, make sure I'm, I'm staying on the right track, you know, not, 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 not stepping off or, or letting myself get distracted, and and just you know staying close to what to what I'm to what I'm to what I'm dedicated to, to what I dedicate myself to, you know, this boxing. So, so I gotta you know stay close to the sport and you know just keep just keep grinding. I gotta ask, bro, because obviously I've I've been your age and. I'm the closest one to your age here. Oh, thanks. How hard is it to stay focused? I mean, you're 18, so much success. You know, I'm sure your DMs uh, is going crazy. How hard is it to stay focused? Because 
you know, there is a lot of temptation. There is a lot of uh, evil out there. There's a lot of people trying to pull you in many different directions. I'm not in your shoes. Can't imagine what it's like to be professional. And, you know, on at, at I feel like at your point, you're at the top, right? You're with a big promoter, big manager, fighting on a big card with a great team behind you. Um, how hard is it for you to stay focused? Or do you think because of this is what you live that it's not hard at all for you? Yes, I won't. I won't say it's hard. You know, everything you have to be. You know, if you if you if you want to go hundred, you got to be disciplined. So you know, staying around. I mean, you know, being around my brothers all the time. It's it's easy. You know, they 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 my friends for real. You know, they 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 the ones who advise me whenever I got some question to ask. And my father, he you know, everybody got input in the house. You know, so they 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 keep me. Every everything that I'm doing keeps me occupied. I don't I don't got time to think about everything else. So. So it's it just keeps me busy with the right things. No, that's you know. great, bro. I feel like I want to jump in, man, because ahead. I think having eight is eight siblings. Uh, well, it's, it's well, it's five. So oh. and, and, and including me and six, but it's, it's you know. I so have five and siblings. all six of you box. Five. No, five was box. Oh, five, yeah. and you guys all live together. Uh, not not the oldest one. He you know he was in uh, he's in school. He was in college. Okay, okay. Yeah. So how's that been uh, growing up with that many? Boys that can fight. <laughs> I mean, it's it's amazing. You know, we all we always been into combat sports. You know, my father made it, made sure we, you know, we always able to you know protect ourselves and and stay, and stay, you know, stay focused on whatever we doing. You know, and uh, it's it's been great growing up with all my brothers, and I'm grateful to you know have all my brothers. You know, a lot of people don't get to say they have five brothers that they that they that they that's their friends that they stick around all the time. You know, and and. And you know they just we just bounce off each other what different things that we do so yeah what uh, go ahead Charlie. I was just gonna say was it easy to pick up the sport because so many of your brothers was already involved was it just something that you were drawn to I mean yeah yeah this well we were always into combat sports as as you know when we was younger you know we we was we was living overseas when I was a lot younger and we moved where at we was in uh, Egypt for a year and we and then we lived for in Yemen for a year. And why? And this, this, well, you know, just to pick up the culture, you know, and you, we're, religious we're, beliefs. We're all, we're Muslim, but we we wanted to experience, you know, the different country, you know, experience, you know, everything, how is everything is going on. Damn, there. that's so, amazing! Yeah, so your father moved the entire family to Yemen and Egypt for a year. Yeah, we, we was down there for a year. Yeah, one year in Yemen or uh, each one year. Wow! One year, so you was out there for two years. Yeah. So yeah, so you know. you did you like pick up Arabic and. My uh my older two brothers they speak Arabic. Well, Amir speaks Arabic. He, you know he pretty fluent in it. You know he, but yeah they they speak Arabic. I was That's a lot amazing. younger, so I didn't pick up on it as much. Man, I thought I was yeah. doing something bringing my like I just got this job out here, so I'm from the East Coast. I brought my son, but damn, your dad took you to Egypt for yeah. a year. So That's I'm, amazing. I'm curious, what was the boxing process like for you guys out there? Yeah, oh, wow. well, 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 we was in box. I say that to say, you know, when we moved when we moved back from Egypt and Yemen, that's when we got into boxing. There was uh there was a gym, you know, around from where we where we lived, where we, you know, moved back to. And my father, you know, he was asking all of us did we want to get into it, you know, blah blah blah. But I was actually the first one to to get into boxing, you know, out of all my brothers. They was always into combat sports and, you know, and uh when you said that when you say you guys were always into it, so now because of where you're going with the story, just watching it though. Or do, or well, I won't say boxing necessarily specifically. But just know, combat sports. They, yeah, yeah, you guys like, were watching. You know, someone that they did uh, Talking to the mic, Abdul. They did like Kyokushin karate, uh okay. karate and they did jujitsu, uh kuntasila and you know, things like that before before we got into the boxing. So but just to we, be clear, while living in Egypt and Yemen, you've never been in boxing? No. Okay. Yeah, but, yeah, but when we moved back, we got into boxing, and I was the first one to join it. You know, all my brothers, they joined, like, right after me, like, you know, one after the other. So why yeah. why, why the change? Like, I'm saying, if they was already if they was already in, in mixed martial arts and, you know, different things like that, uh, different forms of the art, why, why the change to boxing, and why did you guys stick to boxing? Um, it was it was an interest that you know that you know that we that we had to experience. Okay. You know, and all of us, you know, once we got into it, we was like, okay, we got a little serious with it, and we was like, okay, we could take over, we could take this sport if we if we really you know put our time and effort into it. So how old were you at this point? I was I was nine years old when I first started. Nine years old. When you and already when thinking about taking started. over. Uh, at the time, you know, I was I was I was enjoying the sport. 
you know, I, I, I got into it. I loved it. You know, I was just, you know, having fun with it. But once I got a little older, I'm thinking, you know, once I, because I knew, I knew what I had, the talent that I had in the sport. And once I got into it, I, you know, I thought to myself, you know, we could really, you know, dominate if we really, you know, dedicate ourselves to it. I've been able to uh, spend a little bit of time with you and your brothers and your, and your father since you guys been in Vegas whenever you guys hit. I'm curious, bro, how are you guys able to separate or do you separate like that father-son relationship, right? Like when you guys are at home, is it still boxing or is it like a turn-off switch? And do you guys, you know, do you guys play cards? Do you guys play video games? Like what is it like for you guys? Because I'm always intrigued by father-son relationships in the sport because each one is so unique and different. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I don't think I've met a father-son duo that's like, we do the same sh the same things. Like, everybody's so different. Right. So I'm just curious, what is it like for you and your brothers with, with your father? I won't say, I won't say it's a switch, you know. But it's, 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 not, it's not so much, it's not so much work for us. You know, if, if you, if you in, if you in it, if you in boxing, you gotta, you gotta live in it. You can't, you can't be a part-time boxer, so. We always, you know, we boxing is always, you know, we always in around the house talking about boxing. You know, something comes up, we could be chilling and, you know, boxing come up. We could be doing anything. We could be watching a movie, boxing come up. You know, that's how it is when you're in a sport. And, you know, when, you know, when you're trying to be, when you're trying to be good at it, when you're trying to be the best at it. So, so um, you know, it's amazing, you know, the but relationship we have, you know. But, but from the sound, there is like, uh, I guess, uh, a break, right? Because you just said it right now, we could be watching a movie. Oh, boxing yeah, yeah, will come yeah, up yeah. so it's like at least you guys like are doing something because it seems like some camps like we just had uh we just had Sur ramos he said he's like yo we don't yeah he he's said like monday the, through friday he's like don't do nothing he's like no we don't games. do nothing we don't do yeah. he's like on the weekends we, we might play some video games but that's it he's like when i'm in camp and we was just in in Shakur's with Shakur. House, and he was Shit. playing spades after training. Like, you know, we left the gym, go to his house, and we chilling, they eating dinner, we playing spades, we talking. So it's like, to me, that's like their break, right? That's like their decompression time. So I was just curious, like, are you guys, what are you guys like? Is it only boxing or do you guys try to, you know, uh, take it back a little bit? I mean... Boxing is 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 where our interest is. So so even if we even if we are chilling, you know, all five of my brothers, we always hanging out with each other, you know. But boxing is w w where our interest is. Okay. So it doesn't get too far from that. I got you, of yeah, course. So you know, of course, we you know we do you do we do everything else. You know, have a little fun with each other. You know, we be chilling. You know, we might go out. You know, uh, uh, watch a movie or something every once in a while. But boxing is is where our interest is. So. No, but that's What's the last movie you watched. Uh. I watched the Batman. That was the last movie I watched. Did you like it? It was good. I liked it. You yeah, ain't fall asleep? Good. No, I didn't fall asleep. That damn thing was like two hours and 50 minutes. <laughs> it was pretty long. It was. It was yeah. pretty long. No, it's good So though. wait, so don't tell me you was a Twilight fan before he became Batman. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's good though. I think, uh, you know, I feel like you keep trying to, or not keep trying, but... You know, you're letting us know boxing is the focus. But I think it's good that you do take a, a step back sometimes. And not that you're losing focus, but oh, I, yeah. feel, I feel like, I mean, you know, sometimes yeah. it's needed a little break or just time to yourself because we're all human at the end of the day. So I feel like there's only so much before we hit like a cap and we get overworked or overloaded with something. So I think it's great that you are able not just to take that step back, but with your brothers, right? right. Me and my brothers are um, a lot further apart in age. So now that my brother is a little bit older, now we're a little bit closer. Now that my sister's a little bit older now, but it was like, yo, you six years apart. We're like, what are we going to talk about, bro? You a kid to me, you know? Now him being a young man, it's like now we able to relate. And that's always something I wanted. So that, you know, that's good for, you know, you're able to have that, obviously, with your brothers and whatnot. What have been some of the differences for you from, uh, you know, training camp and just, I guess, uh, whatever comes your way in terms of before being signed and now being with Top Rank and James Prince? Like, just, I guess, whatever they've been able to facilitate for you or has it been harder? Or has it has the transition been the same? Have you not felt the difference? Um, it's, 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 it's kind of, it's kind of more the same, you know, but of course, of course, you, everything's get a little more, you you gotta be a little more on your A game. You, I know I got. I'm, I know I'm gonna have, start having fights coming up. I know I'm gonna start, you know, having things to, you know, 
to to do as far as you know schedule everything a little a little more strict get a little more strict on certain things but you know as far it's been a little more of the same and and what about the access to the top ranked gym and just the gyms here in Las Vegas? Do you feel like the sparring has been different? Do you enjoy that better out here in terms of sparring? Has it been more accessible for you the sparring? Vegas, Vegas is the, is the boxing. It's the boxing. It's like the boxing capital in America. You know, it's the boxing city. So, so you get you gotta you gotta have sparring out here when you when you come out here. Then you know you gotta have some sparring. You know, so it is. It's a good amount of sparring out here. You know, I love I love that about Vegas. Can you give some of the names of people that you spar yeah. since you've been? I want to ask you, you 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 spar Shamar Canal since you both in Bones. I haven't I haven't spar. Is that connect? Yeah. No, excuse me. I have a Brewer, right? Sean Brewer. Sean Brewer. Sean Brewer. No. No. Neither. Okay. Okay. He seemed like yeah. y'all the oh, same I way. Spar, I, spar, I spar him when I when we first got out here. How much do you? What's your fight weight? Bigger than she. I, I, fight, I fight. I fight at thirty five. Yeah, lightweight. Yeah, one thirty five. Oh, yeah. yeah, he's smaller yeah. than yeah. Right, right, right. So uh, I'm curious, just because you did just recently turn pro, what is it like for you? You mentioned when Jay came down to see you. That it, that was down the Streetport, right? That tournament, Streetport, yeah, yeah, Louisiana. Street yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that was just yeah, yeah. last year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, last year, last April. Yeah. So you just said he saw your first fight. Obviously, amateur tournaments. You could you fight till you lose, right? So right. you could have five, six fights in in one tournament. But now you're getting ready for one fight and one fight only. And you ain't got to worry about the weekend of fights. It's just one fight. That's it. What have you had to do different or have you had to do anything different to prepare yourself? Like, Because now it's different. You're preparing for one guy. You know who you're preparing for. It's not like that in the amateurs. I mean, Do you yeah. know who you're fighting? Because usually these yeah. fights are TBAs. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's this guy named uh, Ramos. Uh, something Ramos. I know his last name is Ramos. Mm. He makes, it's Mexican, not on box, dude. right? Mexican yeah. dude. Okay. Yeah. But but that that adjustment so. of fighting multiple times in one weekend versus just once a night, you spend months preparing for this one fight. What what's that like? What was that difference like? What'd you have to change, if anything? Um, if you, uh, what did I have to change? I mean. Because now you get yeah, to weigh yeah. in a day before, right? In right, the amateurs, right, you right, weigh right, in right, right. day of. So, obviously, there's been some differences. Yeah, I mean, of course, you know, there's differences. You know, the pros and the amateurs are, I mean, you know, they're very different. But but as far as, as far as you know, training for one opponent, you know, of course, you get to focus on, you know, certain things that you want to do for that fight, you know, <clears throat> you know, staying sharp. Uh, uh, you got certain things you look for, certain things that, you know, that, that, that your opponent does. So... As far as the amateurs, you more you know more so just staying sharp all around because you don't know who you're gonna get, you don't know what type of fighter you're gonna get. But you know, same thing for the pros, you gotta stay sharp. You know, you you can't you can't downplay any fighter. So, so you know when you when you when you in the pros, you know you know what you're looking for. You know you know what you're looking for. Yeah, able to kind of uh, adjust and prepare for that one style, that one game. Right. Plan. You know, but some you know sometimes. You, you get an opponent and he might not be the person you're fighting. Like my first fight, I had a, uh, like, I had a, a opponent I was supposed to fight. You know, I knew I was gonna f be able to fight him like like two months ahead of time or about a month ahead of time. And leading up to the fight, uh, like two weeks before the fight, he 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 pulled out. So mm -hmm. it was another opponent, you know, that that came in. So I won't say it's a switch up of a game plan, but it's a different mindset. You gotta have a you gotta okay. Okay, I'm fighting him now. I gotta, you know, switch this up, switch this up, you know. But you just gotta stay sharp. For you, it don't, it don't matter. Whoever they put in front of me, I just need you to gotta get... stay sharp. You mean, you know, gotta just stay on top of it. Yeah. Prior to your yeah. debut, I used to look for a lot of your uh, fights on YouTube and stuff like that, and it wasn't really much. Con it was content of you and your brothers all together right. with the jumpsuits right, right, on right, and things right. like that. But it wasn't like specific fights. So I don't know. I guess from Instagram, I don't know where I was getting the hype about you from but i was looking up trying to get some of your fights see some of your fights and when you made your pro day when i seen you was with j prince i seen you was gonna make your pro debut and all that bro it was like the super bowl getting to watch you in your pro debut due to the fact that i had been right. waiting and uh ready to right. watch you fight for the first time so when i actually seen it bro you look confident in there you look long you look fast you look like you got power very you, calm I think too I think the next day I might have super chatted twenty or fifty dollars, just saying Abdullah Mace in the future. I, 
I believe in you. That's what they yeah. call it. Maybe you to the lightweight division. Maybe because my last name Mason. I might just be <laughs> biased. I think I might be biased a little bit. But seriously, though, look, I've been looking forward now, to seeing Now he's trying to leave his Alabama ties. He want to be from Cleveland now. Uh, so look at him. Look at him. <laughs> hey, I wear that on my chest. No, man. <laughs> so I, I got to ask, man. Um, do you feel any sense of pressure uh, because you were the first of the brothers to get signed? So it's like. You have to hold that door open. If you don't do well, your brothers can't come through that door. If you do do well, you you could bring them the way Shakur is doing. He just signed your friend Antoine, Antoine Cobbs. Cobb. You know when when you're a red hot prospect like yourself and you pan out, they give you certain things. You get to get people on your undercard when you get to that level. So I'm just wondering, is that something in the back of your mind, putting on the rest of your family? I mean. For 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 me and for me and Amir, we the first ones being pro, you know, out of the family. Of course, there's gonna be some pressure, but I won't say it's you know as, as a bad thing. You know, it's just you just gotta you know work harder, you know, for the rest of us or or guide the rest, you know, the rest of the brothers. So so yeah, some pressure, but I won't say it's it's a bad thing or you know, you know, some people fall under pressure, but you just gotta stay focused. I mean, you gotta stay, you know, keep your head straight on. Yeah, for sure. Staying sharp. Yeah. yeah, that's one thing. And, and not, you know, just because I have been able to spend some time with you guys, like, that's one thing about your father. And, and, and yo, I just love the discipline you guys have, seeing um the respect mutually that you guys share and that work ethic. You guys in there working and y'all, all, all, all of you trying to outdo each other. Whoever's in the gym, everybody's trying to outdo each other. And then, of course, it's Vegas. So, like you said, the top guys out here. So, Oh, I don't know. I feel like this. Like when we working at Bone shit. Oh, Devin just walked in. I gotta, I gotta be sharp. I can't, I can't, not, I can't like let up a little bit. Do you feel like that or, um, when you got eyes on you, like I gotta shine even, even more because I, you know, it's extra eyes on me right, right. now. I mean, you, you I mean you always gotta be like that. You know, even mm -hmm. when you by yourself, because you know whatever you do, you know, private. That's how it's gonna be when you get out mm -hmm. there. Yeah, so. love it. Look at that very mentality. Mature. Yo, very mature. What's your diet old. like? What's your diet like? Uh, because right now, look, you got a fight coming up, and we've interviewed people, and they drinking water. Like, if right. they don't drink the water, they about to fall out. You can see right, the right. <laughs> cake building up in their mouth. Mm -hmm. Right. But you look. Nah, he too young for that. Yeah. You good. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, what's yeah. your diet like just on a regular basis, even when you're not in camp? Um, you know, we you know just try to stay healthy, you know, eating my fruits and vegetables. Uh, you know, people say that, you know, it's kind of cliche, right. but you got to eat your fruits and vegetables. So, you know, you know, make sure I, you know, eat inside. A lot of times we don't, we don't really go out all the time. And a lot of people go out, you know, they eat this and they eat everything from out and, you know, they can eat, you Cook know, eat the same food. thing at home. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, pretty much just home cooked foods, you know, you know, the simple stuff like oatmeal, you know, make sure, you know, cut us some fruits and stuff like that. You eat a lot of rice? Yeah. You eating before sparring? Uh, sometimes, yes. Yeah, so. Uh, sometimes, yeah, sometimes I eat before sparring. So I'm curious yeah. because right now we're still in Ramadan, and I was and, just and going. You, you're Muslim, oh, yeah, 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 so yeah, like, yeah, are you observe? Are you actually observing Ramadan? Or? Yes. Okay. Yeah, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. During camp, yeah. so you're not eating yeah. from sundown to sun up, right? During no, no, camp, from, from sun up to, to sun, sun, yeah. sun down. Yeah, 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 yeah still, yeah. like he gonna yeah. get to eat right now. He got to wait yeah. for the sun to go down. Yeah. Yeah. So that's why that's yeah. why you're not. So is it yeah, yeah. you're not drinking anything or is no, it just, no, no, no. not even water? Ain't you allowed to drink water? <laughs> no, 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 not water. No. You're not allowed to drink water during the fast. No. Oh wow, I thought you could drink water during fasting. No, no. Yo, it's, wow. it's, it's real interesting. It's real interesting because so you haven't eaten since five in the morning. Yeah, no, yeah, I haven't. You know. So what time are you? What time? Because I know Did obviously you, during Ramadan you guys. I can only eat during sundown. So, what's the meals like? Because it's either early morning, late night meals, right? Right. Um, what you had today? Big breakfast? No, I had some oatmeal today. Yeah. Reg just it? That's it? Yeah, it's an oatmeal. Wow, and that's going to hold you till six. Yeah. Nah, yeah. sun ain't going yeah, down at six. It's I know. Out here is like seven. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Out here is like 7 30. Yo, yeah. I, I, I just, it's, it's crazy. So, to me, Ramadan, right? I got to experience it in the Middle East, mm -hmm. which was different because it's in an environment that everybody's a Muslim, right? Mm -hmm. You know, and and just seeing the not just the dedication, but uh, you know, the honor and the respect, it was it's, it's just crazy to me. Like I was in Afghanistan in war, right? The terrorist groups would not attack us during Ramadan. They respected Ramadan that much. 
that during Ramadan there was no attacks. Mm. So we knew, but I got to spend two Ramadans in the Middle East. We knew during Ramadan we chilling, we good. Mm -hmm. We good because it's like we going to respect you and we're going to respect you during Ramadan, but they would also respect us during Ramadan. And it was, it was yo, that's crazy, right? Imagine a gang like, nah, bro, like during during Thanksgiving or during that Christmas break, we not, we not going to come at you. I you, hear you. You getting a pass. That's crazy. Yeah. It's a different it's type amazing, of uh, yeah. a different type of uh, respect. So, has it been difficult for you to, you know, this is your first camp as a pro during Ramadan? Has has that been difficult for you? Um, uh, because now you have to make weight. It ends this weekend, doesn't it? It's Sunday, correct? Sunday's the last day of Ramadan, or oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So oh, yeah, so yeah, I nice. literally right after your fight. fight. Right, right, so right, I'm right. curious. This is your first pro right. camp as uh, you know during Ramadan. Has it been more difficult than than typical for you? Um, I mean, it, it is a little a little bit, but you know, I won't I won't say it's you know so hard. You know, you just I just got to maneuver my schedule around it a little bit. You know, making sure I'm I'm good and make sure I'm not killing myself crazy. Yeah, but I'm I'm pretty cool. You know, pretty cool. Right Have now. you ever had to be like that? I need to lay down. I ain't feeling right because you just ain't got the nutrition. No. What? No. Wow. Yeah. Man, that's crazy. I know. I can't. Because I, I, I can't. I, listen, I, I thought I was fasting. I mean, like some, some, I wake some, up the same time, and I'm not. Like I don't win. Win. No, because I'm only drinking water and coffee. I thought I was like, fasting. Then think about it. We wake up at four. We're I wake up at four two. Yeah, I don't eat till two two most one o'clock. I thought people, I was fasting because this is all yeah, I'm drinking. Most, it's compared, water. compared to a regular person, yeah, they call it intermittent fasting though. Yeah, when you like eat at noon and stuff like that. Yeah, compared to a regular part. Well, he he'd be more of an expert than myself. But compared to a regular person, yeah, you are doing more of a fast than a regular average person would do due to the fact that you don't eat as soon as you wake up breakfast which is break fast you know what i'm saying so yeah you wow kinda, that's what it stands for what? breakfast is because you breaking your fast because you have wow i never put it together <laughs> I, didn't know, I didn't know it made it but break fast yo it just oh so you don't even know so you just talking you just pulling you just pulling i mean but <laughs> that you breaking your fast so you, that's no, what it's I just true. assumed it was that's yeah. really what it means no it makes yeah, it makes it total is. sense yeah, i just yeah. never google thought it. of it that way i want to google it now yo did you bring me a mason shirt Oh, I, gotta, I, gotta, I want the jump I, I want the whole jump. Oh, oh, out of, I wear a size. Man. All the brothers, all oh, the dad. We gonna get y'all one. Oh, we gonna get y'all one. Oh, yeah. gonna how am I not one, gonna yeah. rap on man, Saturday? We gotta put our shirts back. <laughs> nah, <No, laughs> I'm messing with y'all. I'm messing with y'all. I need the jumpsuit, man. Man, that look good. But yeah, Saturday yeah. night, um, man, exciting. Oh yeah, for exciting. sure. Can't wait. What do you think of the main mm -hmm. event? Man, <clears throat> it's gonna be a fight. Yeah, you ain't we know it's we know it's a fight. I got Shakur. Okay, I got Shakur. Yeah, I got Shakur. By decision or, um, I'm not sure. You know, I haven't I haven't seen too much of Valdez, but I say either 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 late, either he gonna get him out of there late. You know, eleven twelve or decision. Hmm, eleven twelve. Okay, yeah, I can see. I said late. I said late. You know. Yeah, I like that. I can see that. I can see that. Um, but there's another big fight coming up, and it's actually in your division. I'm just curious. Undisputed, right? Doesn't yeah. get any bigger than that. Devin Haney, oh, George yeah. Cambosis. I'm sure you've been in the gym with Haney, right? Because he trains at Bones too. No, yeah, no, no, we don't. We don't. We don't train at Bones. Oh, yeah, yeah, we don't train at Bones. Bro, you're thinking yeah. of Jesus. He said he trains at Bones. Oh, what, so what gym y'all train out of? Uh, we don't have our own, you know, our home gym. No, know, I know, but you train, train out of where? Uh, well, recently we've been, you know. For this camp, I've been in. We've been uh, training in top rank gym. Okay. Yeah, we've been working in top rank yeah, gym. Might as well. Yeah. Part of the, part of yeah. top rank, and it's yeah, some fair. decent people going in there on a regular. Where? No, mm -hmm. definitely. But yeah, your thoughts on the the Haney Cambosos fight? I got. I'm going with Haney. Mm -hmm. Haney. Yeah. I mean, anything can happen in the sport of boxing. So, so I'm not going. You know, give a solid prediction. But I think I think Haney got what it takes to you know to beat Cambosos. Who would you say? Um, Cause I feel like I I know I've seen you in the gym and I, I want to say we was at Real Boxing maybe when Haney was there and y'all was there. This was maybe like a year and a half, two years ago. Oh yeah. But yeah, have yeah. you guys sparred in the past? Or? Yeah, I've sparred him once. I sparred him once. This was uh this was before we actually actually moved out here. You know, we came around to you know move around. You know, experience it. And, you know, uh, and we we wasn't gonna actually spar that. Well, we actually sparred earlier that day, and and. 
it's a whole story. But yeah, we sparred him. We sparred him. So you yeah. had sparred earlier that day. Yeah. They they called you yeah. for some work and no, no, I, we was going to watch him spar actually. Okay, yeah, but his opponents didn't show up, and me and my brother got to get in there with him. So yeah. what was that like for you? Um, and in comparison to the Shakur Stevenson sparring, right? Because obviously both top guys around the right. same weight that. People are eyeing maybe one day down the line that'd be right. a, a a mega fight. Um, I'm not sure. You know, I sh I shared the ring with him, but but I was you know at the same time I was a lot younger. I was 16 years old. You know, I held my own, but but it was a little different. You know, I I, I only sparred him one time, so you know we only went a few rounds. You know, I didn't actually get to you know we wasn't going in there going crazy. I you got know, you. Just, you know, just getting some just good working. Work from me. Yep. Just working. Yeah, I got so. you. I got you. Well, man, um, those are all the questions. Yeah. Unless you guys have any others, we're no, going to take a quick intermission, take this picture I do with Abdullah. I do want to thank you for not just oh, yeah, coming on the show, it, but uh, want, you, want to wish you the best Saturday night. I'm not even going to say luck because I know you guys put the work in. And I definitely uh, want to uh, tip my hat to your father because oh, I know yeah, he's absolutely. doing a great absolutely. a great job with, uh, with you and all your brothers. So thank you again. I never asked, too. I want to oh. just be clear. Uh, is your mom in the in the? Because it's six brothers. Just want to. Uh, I don't know. Is the dad taking all credit for raising, or is your mom still oh, around? My mom and dad. Yeah, okay. Both cool. My mom and cool. Dad. No. Yeah, both and my mom and I dad. just wanted to highlight yeah. it because yeah, you know yeah. that that doesn't happen a lot in the, in right. the city. No, we got absolutely. a lot of broken yeah. homes. Not everybody has mother oh, yeah. and father there, and uh, obviously you can see that stability, and that's another reason why I wanted it out. I mean, oh, for yeah. him to go take you to Egypt, for you to be signed to who you're signed to, it means that there was definitely someone there. Oh yeah, making Wonder, sure you yeah. don't go left instead of uh, you know staying on the path. So we appreciate you coming yeah, in early. Really. Appreciate your dad setting appreciate this up. We want to take this picture. If you can give out your social media for anybody again, um, crazy and, enough not to be and, following. And you. remind everybody about Saturday night. You know, oh, Saturday yeah, night. Yeah. I'm coming to do my job. So just y'all tune in. Make sure y'all tune in and let the people know about us. You know, Mason Brothers. Yep. Nice but uh, Instagram, uh, Abdullah, A-B-D-U-L-L-A-H underscore M-A-S-O-N, Abdullah underscore Mason, and Mason Brothers Boxing. Mason right. Brothers Boxing, yeah. Abdullah underscore Mason. We will take a quick intermission, get this picture very quick with Abdullah, and then we will be back. So thank you once again, and make Absolutely. sure to tune in Saturday night, ESPN and, e and ESPN Plus. Absolutely. Yeah. Appreciate y'all for having me. Thank, thank you, bro. Uh, well video feel free to hit the like subscribe and share as always if you want to support us to the next level head over to the patreon.com backslash the boxing voice we have tons of exclusive from border wars and title betting shows the list goes on and on and on but in addition to that if you guys have questions for fighters trainers and promoters this is where you can submit them we will run out get these questions answered and put it back on the show just for you guys appreciate it peace